Hey guys, how are you today? Mona from My Limit Is Me here. I uh, hope you guys are having a great end of the month. And I'm here with a new plan with me, this time for April. Uh, the first thing you're seeing here is the flip through of my Filofax notebook because I decided it was as full as I want it to be. And uh, three months have to be my new record of uh, months in a bad way <laughs> in a in a notebook so um that's the only drawback of that notebook because i love the pages i love the versatility of being able to move pages around but three months is a little bit too little um these were the stickers i intend to use and uh, this is uh, what i'm starting up now and it's a Stalogy 365 a5 size um, and as you can see, I've already put in the uh, year at a glance, the future log. Uh, I've left a couple of pages blank to put in something else and my Happy Mail tracker. That's uh, my basics for a bullet journal uh, when I start up. I know there's a lot of other spreads you can put in that uh, a lot of people do. But my experience is I end up not using them, so I skip them. Uh, this was my pen test, and as you can see, the pages are really thin, uh, which means uh, they are going to ghost a whole lot. Uh, but they didn't bleed, except for a few markers that I expected uh, some bleed through, so uh, I was pretty happy with that. Um, I've had notebooks in the past with similar um, kinds of uh, see-through, <clears throat> and I, it doesn't bother me. Um, but what I did experience, and you'll see that later on, is um, uh, the grid on this notebook is so soft, which is a thing I really, really like. Um, but it's so soft that if I don't mark every corner when I have to draw the layout, I actually end up drawing the lines uh, from the wrong, uh, or from the right place to the wrong place. <laughs> so my weekly, when we come to that, you'll see that a couple of columns are actually um crossed they're not a straight straight line down because i i cross a whole grid without noticing uh normally i draw out uh only the main corners and uh, then if i can see <laughs> the amount of space i i want to draw down uh, i'll just leave the mark on top if that makes any sense but next time i'll have to do it differently because it didn't work out that well <laughs> Uh, here you can see I actually have, I had drawn out the calendar uh, in advance, but I missed the part, so I had to do that before going in with the drawing. And as I did in my other notebook, I'm still going to use the same uh, kind of uh, calendar for the month. Uh, and as you probably saw by the stickers and the color palette I chose um, for this month, it, Normally, I, April for me is yellow and it's rainy. That's the theme I've been going for um, earlier years, uh, but not this time. Uh, I There's yellow in it, of course, and it's uh, Easter and all that, but I I found this, this sticker kit with um, butterflies and uh, flowers with pastel colors that was very, very bright and lively. I, I really liked it, so I kept I'll be right back and we are back sorry about that <laughs> little bit of uh, children drama in the living room and uh, yeah so I chose this color palette because uh, well in the situation we have today we do spend a lot of time home and uh, life can get a little bit stale or I don't want to say boring because that's not fair but you know, uh, it's not like you can go out and do whatever you want right now. So uh, having a journal with uh, some good vibes is uh, is nice. Uh, so that was what I thought. And it really gives it a, a spring kind of um, feeling. And um, yeah, I really enjoy it. You'll see it. Uh, as you can see, I'm drawing out layouts and using colors before I go in with the stickers. And that's because these uh, the paper is so thin that if I did it any other way, I would probably be uh, drawing over the uh, the stickers and getting crooked lines, and uh, yeah, it wouldn't look that nice. Um, that was my daughter's hands, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
So, uh, so I go in with the drawing first, and um, you will also see later that when I finish up the uh, coloring of the monthly page, uh, it jumps right to the um, uh, weekly layout, which is already drawn out, and that's because I actually didn't realize that the camera stopped recording uh, for a longer period than I thought. So uh, there's a part there missing, so I hope you don't mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, and as I said, last video as well. I really hope you guys are taking care of yourself and staying safe. Uh, things are pretty messed up uh, a lot of places so um, I hope you guys are are well and um, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, now that that's done, the, the drawing, uh, now that that's done I actually realized too that um, the reason I went back and forth these pages is because I actually draw 1 through 31st and April only has 30 days and it didn't occur to me until I was drawing the lines to divide the weeks because the last week ended up with one day more than I knew it had <laughs> uh, so I checked and um, yeah I messed that up but I can fix that so here I go in with the colors that I chose and um, I really like how it turns out looking pretty bright. My monthly layouts are uh, pretty simple really. Uh, they only have the calendar themselves and a column at the right side with uh, some space to, for note taking. Um, so that's uh, all I actually make of it. and. Um, I don't have anything um, that I have to mark down for this month, I think. At least not at this time. <laughs> uh, besides Easter, of course, and uh, my good luck making me work uh, on uh, the 11th. <laughs> Yay me. But it doesn't matter. Um, whole country is on, uh, almost, I want to say vacation lockdown. That's not, <laughs> not entirely right, but you're not supposed to go anywhere. Uh, so... Uh, we're going to be home anyway, and um, I'm working from home as well, so basically won't notice the difference, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, this is uh, how the calendar ends up looking, and uh, now you'll see we jump over to the weekly layout. And um, here you can see very clearly that there are some <clears throat> not so straight lines. <laughs> Uh, here are the stickers and uh, there are basically butterflies and flowers and patterns and uh, I, as I said I just find it gives me some really good vibes. Uh, this sticker kit comes with uh, some sort of washi strips and uh, it also has a weekly kit um, with uh, half boxes and uh, weekend banner and some uh, icons from different things and um, uh, I think I'll use that for s some weekly uh, spread uh, during this month so uh, I, I'm just not using it for the first week uh, I had a sticker kit from the mix match planner uh, with uh, some yellow and green colors and a panda bear uh, which I thought was really cute so I decided to use that for the first week and you'll see that uh, later and um, yeah, here I made the habit tracker and since this uh, notebook has a lot of uh, uh, squares um, so I can fit it, fit it uh, horizontally, I actually had uh, room for the notes part uh, on the second half of the page. Uh, so I made a blank page on the right side which I will probably use for something like one line a day type of thing. I haven't decided yet or maybe just memories or highlights. And um, yeah, here, um, as you can see, I made eight columns. It actually fits eight columns in this uh, this size, which fits the Hobonichi stickers pretty nice. Uh, and I used the first column for my meal tracker, happy meal tracker, uh, habit trackers and uh, notes. And the seven uh, remaining for the weeks, uh, for the, <laughs> the weeks of the day, for, for the days of the week. Um, so yeah, and um, that's basically it. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the setup. I hope you guys enjoy it. 
Um, I don't know. There was something I was about to say, but I just, I just forgot about it. So never mind. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the setup. Uh, leave a comment if there is anything you'd like to know. Um, sticker shops in the description. I think some of them are closed due to the current uh, health situation around the world, but um, there are still great shops. So I hope they all get to keep doing what they do when this is uh, this is all over. Um, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and uh, consider subscribing if you want to. Really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you guys are, are doing great, and see you guys in the next time. Bye-bye.